All right, we're inside Animal Kingdom today, one of the least popular parks among most guests, but uh, I think it's gonna be a good day. I did purchase another Genie Plus Pass to skip all the lines for $19 for one person, can't beat it, so we're gonna go see some animals. Let's get in there. All right, and now, and only now, I can, now that I'm in the park, I can reserve my first lightning lane. So we gotta pick one. The uh, flight of passage is not offered today for whatever reason. So that's the longest lines right now at 95 minutes. But I'll pick something. It's important to understand that uh, this was one of Walt's very favorite ideas to build this park around animals. But there are also some really, really good rides here that we're gonna ride today. Just not finding a whole lot of animals right now. There's one swan over there. Hey buddy, or is that a duck? Is that a duck? Maybe it's just a Disney, maybe it's just a lucky Disney duck. All right, you gonna go down the waterfall? You gonna do it? Do it. Do it, do it, he's gonna do it. He's gonna, oh, he wimped out. Thought he was gonna do it. So there's the focal point of the park, the tree of life there. It has 380 different animals in the tree, designed within the tree there. A lot of animals. Speaking of animals, we're gonna go do the Kilimanjaro safaris and look at animals right now first. First thing. Well, bummer. One of the problems about getting my popcorn bucket early is you might find a better one. That's a 50th anniversary Mickey popcorn bucket. Oh. Well, all right, well, I refilled my popcorn bucket anyway. She did say that she liked my popcorn bucket better than the Mickey's 50th, so it made me feel better. All right, there it is, Kilimanjaro Safaris. I'm going in right now. I'll zoom in and point out any animals I see on this one. All right, so these are what the buggies look like. I got a middle seat this time because I just wasn't picky. Uh, as we leave and head over to the Savannah, there's another shot of what they look like. They're complete off-road vehicles. Any anything's possible, you never know. We started with an Occupy. <laughs> zebra butt there and then here's a black rhino we saw lots of rhinos on this particular trip lots of rhinos coming up there's some hippos you lazy hippos not alligators but crocodiles and these guys can get eight feet 18 feet long uh wildebeest out there but uh, this is a, a rare african wild dogs that i've not seen on on previous times on this ride so it's really cool there's a zebra there and lots of zebras in there there's a giraffe in the trees. You can see him in there. We're gonna get another shot of some more giraffes right there. There's three sitting down and one standing up. <laughs> they look so funny when they're sitting down like that. <laughs> and there's one more shot here of him eating. Just, just mowing away on some palm there, palm trees. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, looks good. Another uh, African elephant there chilling by himself, a male. And then as we leave the savanna here, we're gonna get over into this little island over here and we're gonna see a flamboyance of flamingos. That's right, flamboyance is the plural word for one flamingo, more than one. And there's a kitty, the cheetah, the fastest land animal on the planet, sleeping. Well, not doing much. There's another white rhino. They can get up to 5,500 pounds. They're big creatures. Off in the distance, you can probably see those uh, ostriches over there behind the rhino there. Another one right there, keeping the grass short. It's kitties! Yeah, there's two lioness, two female lions right there. They told us that there was also a male behind one of the lions, lionesses, but we couldn't see the, the male on this particular trip. When I was a young warthog! That's a warthog, it's Boomba there. Just a shot of his butt there. There's those two ostriches as we came around the corner, we got to see them a little closer. Another rhino, guys, look how close I am to this rhino. I could reach out and peck this rhino, but then they would kick me out of the park, so it's probably not worth it, right? <laughs> and some mountain goats, just chilling all over the place. I love these. How cool would it be to have some mountain goats on my property in the future? Very cool. And then this is the part where we left and head back. They give us a little spiel on saving the animals and ideas and the company's ideas of uh, maintaining safe habitat for all the animals and everything. It was fun. Oh my gosh, that was so cool, guys. That was way better than normal. Uh, it's hard to get shots. That iPhone 14 Pro Max 
does really good at stabilizing because they don't stop for you to take pictures and video. It's more of like a just you look and see. But man, that was cool. I don't think I've ever seen that many animals and that rhino was like a foot away from my hand. It's crazy. That was Walt Disney's dream. In fact, what you probably don't know is that Jungle Cruise in Magic Kingdom, Walt Disney saw as looking something like Kilimanjaro safaris and it didn't happen. Now we have the parody version, but Walt Disney would be proud of what Kilimanjaro Safaris is here in Animal Kingdom. What a great start. Oh yeah, Disney popcorn just tastes so much better. Great snack. Mm. And they do have Disney specific 50th anniversary uh, Coke bottles here, unique to the parks. Pretty cool looking. All right, next uh, lightning lane is, see that big mountain off in the distance? See that coaster going up the track, up into the mountain? Expedition Everest. There is said to be a Yeti Bigfoot up there. Wanna come with me? It's a good coaster, let's go try it out. Cow. I did take my Bonine today. It works really well on rides. Apparently doesn't work on cruises. Gotta love all the fun Disney snacks in the park. Baked mac and cheese with barbecue pulled pork. Yeah. Mmm. Throw, throw it on the ground for the birds. And I'm not gonna overdo it or anything, but this park does serve alcohol. Something you don't find very often in Magic Kingdom at least. Uh, something is open that has never been open when I visited this park this time of year. It's a wet one. Let's do that. Here's a sign for it. Raft Cali River Rapids. This way. Actually, I've been on this ride before, but not during Christmas time. It was during a Halloween thing. They seem to always close this ride, this attraction down, this same time Christmas for refurbishment and stuff. It's open and no lightning lane needed. Stand by. Five minutes. It's a walk on. dry except for a little patch on my leg right there. Good idea to bring that rain jacket that I got at a thrift store. Just about time for like the halfway point in the park so I'm gonna grab some lunch. One of my favorite spots here. All right I did kind of plan ahead made a late lunch reservation at Yak and Yeti. All right they sat me upstairs. It's a two-story building. It's beautiful and uh, got a little table party of one. Let's check it out. It is dark in here. They've got these cool looking collectible cups, shakers for uh, margaritas. I don't need one of those, but I'm gonna try their strawberry margarita in a normal glass. Admit it though, I sport the party of one like nobody else out there, right? No shame. Yeah. All joking aside, my life is a lot cheaper than a family of five. I'm just saying, it is what it is, right? Small victories. Yeah, strawberry margarita time. Quit staring, guys. You, you really need to quit staring. Yeah. I smell Bud Light. 
And uh, my entree order is in. I got the wonton soup here. I almost wanted to Google it. I don't know what wonton soup is. It smells good though. It does smell good. Oh my gosh, that's good. That's way better than I was expecting. Heck yeah. Whew. Whoa, get a load of this. Teriyaki chicken here and rice and de decorations. But look at that chicken. Ooh -wee. This whole restaurant smells amazing. Throw it over the edge. Well, if you listen carefully, the sights and sounds have changed here in the Valley of Morara, Pandora. It cracks me up with people just walking right by all this beauty. It is so cool how much effort Disney puts in to every little bit. Gotta stop and just take a moment and look at it sometimes. It's beautiful here. here at the moment but listen to it it's so much fun and we got a couple of attractions to go to here Ooh -wee, good thing I got that genie plus lightning lane pass a hundred and ten minute wait for avatar flight of passage <laughs> we don't do that here we skip the line on this channel ride is still just amazing guys. I'm gonna grab a snack here before we go on the Navi River ride but it is so cool. It is one of the best Disney attractions ever with all the vibration in your chest and your seat vibrates and your knees where the Banshee's at pulses as he's breathing. Water misting and all the smells like soaring. I'm gonna do it again. I got another lightning lane pass for it at 415. First you can get a snack here. At this giant Christmas creature. Trying something new this time, the Morara Margarita. Love that color. I don't know what the that is. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. And a nabby sized pretzel with beer cheese. In case you didn't know, this is the biggest pretzel in Disney World here at Avatar Land. Some beer cheese on there. That's a good snack. All right, it is time for my lightning lane for the Navi River ride. The clouds are rolling in. There is a 60% chance of rain tonight. We know it's coming. But this attraction is all indoors, so no worries.
That one, I don't understand. I'm not sure. I'd like to see what the original idea was and then to see what they cut for budget cuts. Because I could have skipped that one. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits, guys, and say goodbye to Animal Kingdom. <sighs> Three parks down, one to go. Christmas is coming. I want to get back to the RV and see those fuzzy butts. Spend some Christmas time with them. Whew. Sarah, you thankful for Num Nums? Aren't you glad I came back and remembered you? Yeah. Okay, you enjoy your Num Nums. Opie, how is it? Hope dopes. Pretty good stuff then? You don't talk while you eat? Okay, you don't want to say hi to everybody? Tell them what a crazy goon you were? Yeah. Alright guys, enjoy. I love animals. I really, really do. That's why I love that park so much. It's so refreshing to see what it's become. And to be honest, the rides are actually pretty good there. I, I don't know why it's such an underrated park by guests. I love it. I think it's I think it's more fun to go to Animal Kingdom than it is Magic Kingdom, really. Epcot's still my favorite, probably will be, even with the construction. I know, isn't that surprising? Anyways, does it feel like Christmas is really coming, guys? I'm trying to make it feel that way. Obviously, I'm just, I'm having a blast down here in Florida and having a wonderful Christmas so far. Hope you guys are doing well, spending time with your loved ones and trying to get some fun times out there as well but um yeah like i said one more park to go so uh we'll see you back in a couple days merry christmas bye guys Whoop.